Let's celebrate the 50th episode of the Good Enough Mompreneur podcast with a recap and some special announcements. Mompreneurs, thank you so much for joining me on this, the 50th episode of the Good Enough Mompreneur podcast. It's kind of a a moment of disbelief. There have been many hours of work that have gone into the podcast, so many conversations, and I am so grateful for the listeners and the guests and the followers. I Words are just really, just can't even begin to match how grateful and Um, how much this podcast has expanded my life and fulfilled me in ways I didn't know I needed to be fulfilled and really given me a major purpose in my life. So for that, I wanted to say thank you. And I have been working on some new resources for you. We have 50 episodes now, and that's a lot of content and a lot of information. And while you can search some episodes on my website, they're not all there um, with a web page yet. That will happen. Um, so what I did is I put together a new guide to meet you wherever you are at in your entrepreneurial journey. So there are 10 topics that are a part of the new guide, and then it has the episodes linked that will then help you with whatever you are struggling with. So let me tell you about 10 topics that are going to be in the new Good Enough Mompreneur podcast episode guide. So first of all, uh, so many of my listeners are just getting started or restarted with their business. So I have an entire page of those episodes that will probably inspire and benefit you most if you're just getting started. Uh, The second topic is for those who are leaving corporate and they need to leave their job and start a new business and they're just not sure how to do that or what that's like. I have some really great interviews with some amazing guests on how to do that. Jamie Renee, Tyra Andre, amazing women who talk about their leaving corporate experience. Then too, as a new business owner, business owner at any stage, I think you have to have a good sense of marketing skills. So I put together episodes that will specifically zero in on marketing, Um, Maybe not the whole conversation. There's one with Bella Vasta, who is amazing. She is a marketing and content powerhouse, but she's also a coach specifically for people with pet businesses. Um, But she has amazing experience and insight into anybody with any type of business, because really it's the same things, no matter what you're selling or serving people with. I have a great interview with Dory Stewart, who is a franchise expert. She went from being a um, a teacher in creating and franchising a STEM after school program. So that is an amazing conversation for just to hear her talk. But if you're specifically interested in franchising, And then a large part of the work that you need to do as an entrepreneur is on your mindset. So I put together a collection of those interviews that I think speak to that best. Then there's also a collection of time management and system interviews. There is a collection of leadership interviews. There's also a collection of interviews that are gonna help you with family life and parenthood, as well as health and healing. And then finally, confidence and success. So I'm going to link that new episode guide in the show notes. Be sure that you grab it. You're going to be able to look at that guide wherever you are at any time and click on a hyperlink to take you to that episode that's going to help you where you are. So I hope you love and enjoy that. Be sure to get that. And at the same time, I have been working on revamping 
my existing free resources for mompreneurs. I have one specifically that is called the Ultimate Mompreneur Roadmap, your essential guide to launching a successful business or side hustle. And that helps you go through all the fundamental things from picking a name and branding and logos and the accounts you need to set up and some of the research that you need to do to get everything started. So you can find that for free. So much great information in that. That's something I always give my clients when they are just starting out and they love it. It's got helpful apps that I use and things in there that you can find. Then the other free resource I have that I've been working on revamping is called, it's a workbook. It's unveiling the hidden secrets, 10 tips for mompreneurs who achieve unprecedented success. So that's an entire workbook that's gonna help you go through your why and various prompts that are going to help you get unstuck if that's where you're at or that's something that really goes beautifully with the um, essential guide to launching a successful business because it's more of that mindset stuff that you're going to have to go through and things that you need to be asking yourself to really get to the heart of why you're not growing the way that you would like. Then so many of the people who reach out to me are creating online businesses. So I have a free download that is a checklist for mastering the art of home-based success. Discover 10 game-changing tips for moms working from home. And I really should do a podcast episode. I have been working remotely for more than a decade. I love it. I know it's not for everybody. Some people struggle with it, but this is really a great guide. It's something you have to continue to work on. You know, we evolve. We, we don't stay static. So these are all things you have to continue to work on, but yeah, it's a great guide for you. So that's four resources that are on my website. And I'm also going to talk about, you know, it's summertime. One thing that is super important to do every time your schedule changes, whether it's a new school schedule or your child is in a new developmental phase, maybe they're napping less, or maybe they're starting preschool or whatever, is auditing your time. I do it like every three months. It's super important. Um, And I will link that resource below. So that's five free resources for you. So now for my special announcement. I consistently get so many questions about growing your business and starting your business, but people so often don't realize the most important mindset pieces that you must focus on on learning the bad beliefs and habits that we have developed throughout our lives and incorporating the new ones that are really going to help us grow and flourish as parents and as business owners. So, drum roll please, I am finally launching a course called Unlocking Your Mompreneur Potential. And I have a link in the show notes where you can sign up for a 50% early bird discount. It is going to be a six week self paced course that I will drip each uh, module every week. We will have a private Facebook group. You will get a one on one, one hour coaching call. I will have office hours inside of the Facebook group. And then you will have access to that, the resources and all of the content forever. So I'm going to leave a link for you to be able to sign up for that. It launches this August. So if you're like me, my kids go back to school early August, then it allows me to refocus on my business and really sprint to the end of the year, the end of 2023. So if you really want to set yourself up well for growing in your business in 2024, if you're feeling stuck, you're, you've set up your business, maybe you haven't even done that, but you really want to begin to grow and understand how to do that, this course is for you. So I'm going to leave that sign up link in the show notes. So thank you so much for joining me. I just, my heart is full. I am going to let you know some of the guests coming up. 
the day after this podcast is uh, releasing, some of the uh, guests that are coming up are Maya Miller. She is a health and wellness coach. <sighs> Wonderful conversation. Every conversation I have is like a master class. Then I have an interview with Laura Munkholm. She is in the fitness tech industry. She is one of the top female CEOs who has amazing things to say to inspire you in your business. I'm going to talk with Brett Lane. We're talking about using chat GPT in your business and the importance of SEO. He is an SEO ex expert, one of the few people in the world who have a digital marketing doctorate. So super smart, so much to learn from him. Then I have a conversation with Tiffany Colette. She is an amazing mompreneur who makes great products for coaches. And I love talking to her about how she started her mompreneur journey. And she has little ones. I always love to inspire moms who have infants and little children when it feels like that's the last thing you can do is start a business. It's definitely possible. I'm not saying it's easy. And then I also have a conversation with Sasha, Sasha Jones, <laughs> who helps mompreneurs reach new heights by focusing on their mindset and healing and doing so many great things with mompreneurs. And she has an amazing story about what propelled her forward to healing and helping mom. So those are just some of the interviews that are coming. We're at episode 50. There's so much more to come. So I want to invite you to please subscribe to the podcast, <laughs> follow us wherever you listen, because then it you will get a notification whenever we release a new episode. It is going to be on Mondays and Fridays, but I am going to be taking a small hiatus for vacation and summer. So um, that's going to be changing a little bit. We'll, we'll at least have an episode on Mondays. And then be sure to share the podcast with anybody that you know will find it helpful. And then to please leave us a review. It helps us so much. It helps other mompreneurs find the podcast. And then... It helps us know that we're creating content that resonates. So thank you so much. I'm so delighted to be here. What? I just announced a course. That sounds so crazy, but it's something that I've been wanting to do for so long. And I finally found some clarity on it. And the more questions and interactions that I get with clients and guests and listeners, it helps me so much to find the clarity on how I can serve you. So I can't wait to do that with the new course beginning in August. So check out the links in the show notes. I can't wait to talk to you next time. Have the most amazing day and week ahead ever. Thanks. Bye. Bye.